Hi, this is Dr. Joe with Two Minutes to Better Health. Well, today might actually be more like four minutes to better health, but please stay tuned for this entire thing. I think you may find this incredibly informative and helpful for you and your family to stay healthy. Loss of smell and taste. Now, this is something maybe we've all experienced with a cold or a flu or something like that, but believe it or not, this condition, otherwise known as anosmia or agusia, has a lot to do with a deficiency that can often exist when your body is sick. And how can zinc affect this? This is one of the most important things I can speak about because nowadays everybody you ask, are you taking anything to help stay strong for your immune system? Vitamin D, zinc, vitamin C. Now why is that the case? Well, zinc has so much to do with the immune system, so let's understand how that can actually affect this condition. All right, so this may be a little boring looking, but please stay tuned, all right? Can a loss of taste and smell be a symptom of COVID-19? Now this is from healthline.com, a really reputable site that did a peer review of many different research articles and things like that about COVID-19. So it said it's not uncommon for upper respiratory infections such as the common cold or flu to affect our senses of smell and taste. Maybe we've experienced that. You don't want to you know, eat that food because you're sick because it just doesn't taste good. Over 60% of colds and sinus infections will experience this. So it could be an early symptom of COVID-19. And I'm seeing this with a lot of medical providers that I speak to. They say it's one of the earliest signs that they see. And 11,000 people you know, in these different reviews of studies showed that it often happened prior to other COVID-19 symptoms, way before the runny nose or the cough or any other symptom a person experiences. Now, in another article, it says certain nutritional deficiencies could minimize the sense of taste and zinc is vital to your sense of taste and smell. So there's a couple different articles you can look up right here on that. So let's go a little further into it. This is from the National Institute of Health. So the top dog in terms of understanding how this thing is affecting people. So the rationale for the review of understanding zinc was to say increased intracellular zinc concentrations efficiently impair replication in a number of RNA viruses. Now, what does that mean? Basically, when you have sufficient amounts of zinc in the body, it actually helps to prevent the replication of cells that are viral. RNA cells and viruses can basically replicate <clears throat> without sufficient amounts of zinc in it. So <clears throat> in the case of COVID-19 or coronaviruses, it's an RNA virus. This can help to reduce its spread and growth in the body. So the optimal dose of zinc for the treatment of COVID-19 is not established according to this study. Okay, 11 milligrams per day for men, eight for non-pregnant women is basically the recommended daily allowance. So what does all that mean? All right, so we've heard that zinc can possibly affect you know, colds and uh, uh, you know, viruses. It can also be uh, attributed to that of COVID-19. But in the case of the loss of smell and taste, how much zinc does a person need to understand that their immune system is strong? So if there's no clear science to say how much it is, well, my answer is, if you're thirsty, how much water do you need? You need as much water as it takes for you to no longer be thirsty. If your body is showing a sign or symptom of a deficiency, possibly attributed to a zinc deficiency because your body is either low in it to begin with or because it's developing a, a cold or a flu or possibly something as extreme as COVID-19, if it's starting to deplete in that mineral, in this case zinc, then your body is now starving for it, it may actually lose that sense of smell or taste. So the amount that that person may need in their body would be enough to get that sense of smell or taste back. Now, if a person's sick and they recover from COVID, over time, just from eating foods, they may get it back. But some people, it takes weeks or months. If someone is supplementing sufficiently, and I'm not talking mega doses, but basically you know, quantities larger than the recommended daily allowance under the discretion of their doctor's assistance or you know, some kind of nutritional assistance, then that is the amount that their body needs. Now, the interesting thing is this. Now, we use a, a simple test. We've used this for over 20 years in our clinic to basically help people know how much zinc do they have in their body. It's actually called a zinc test. You basically put a few droppers full of this in your mouth and just slosh it around for 10 seconds. If it tastes like water, basically no taste, you are very deficient in zinc in your body. It's not absorbed into the uh, tissues and it's basically showing you're deficient. If it tastes a little chalky, then it shows there's a little bit there but not super uh, large amounts. And if it tastes really metallic and you wanna spit it out right away, that would show sufficient amounts of at least the mineral zinc is in your body. Why is that important? Well, it's exactly the same way. If you're low in zinc, it's going to taste like water, tasteless. Very similar to if your body is getting sick and it's showing a deficiency in zinc, it's going to have a loss of smell or taste. 
So I know there was a lot here. I really wanted to get a lot of information out there in a pretty quick format. So understand this, if you, a friend, a family member, or someone that you, you know, uh, have heard of is struggling with a sense of smell or taste, definitely have them go talk to their doctor. Definitely get tested to see if possibly they're struggling with some kind of illness, especially COVID-19. And if they are deficient in it, eat foods that are rich in zinc as much as possible. Oysters have the most out there, but most people don't eat a lot of oysters, but way above everything else. A lot of other meats and some green leafy vegetables and some nuts and seeds have zinc. You can look that up yourself, but definitely understand the importance of this. If a person is experiencing loss of smell or taste, realize it can be a significant thing and it also can be an early indicator of COVID-19. So thanks for listening. Please share this with friends and family members because it can be very crucial for them. And thanks for watching. I hope to see you in a future video. We'll talk soon.